a lot of times people are spending maybe 500 on a deductible a year. Uh, something small like that. That is nothing compared to human medicine. Nothing. That's so darn small. Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. And today, pet insurance. My view as a veterinarian, is pet insurance worth it for the pet owner? Pet insurance, I believe, is becoming significantly important for any pet owner. It has become incredibly expensive for these really big procedures. Like, I'm not talking about myself, a general practitioner. It's expensive for that sometimes too. But if you have to go get an ACL fixed uh, for your doggy or your kitty cat, a lot of times guys, even, even in the Midwest, in Nebraska where I practice, clients are spending between four and 5,000 to get one knee fixed for an ACL. That is insanely expensive and insanely not possible for some people, right? Emergency clinics after hours are incredibly expensive. Even here in the Midwest, most people are spending like 150 bucks to walk in the door before they do any tests. And if you live on the East Coast or West Coast, it's gonna be way more than that. So I would encourage you to really consider pet insurance because if you wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and your doggy or kitty's struggling and you go into one of those emergency clinics, guys, no joke, like you're gonna be spending a thousand dollars if it's of a minor issue, a couple thousand if it's a major issue before your primary veterinarian can take care of your, your pet for a much cheaper rate. But the problem is they're not open in the middle of the night. So you gotta pay that expensive rate. And that's when pet insurance will also help you out. I, I, I believe anymore that if you get pet insurance, like my logic is everybody, you, you need to get it early. So when you get your doggy and you get your kitty and their kid, their puppies, you go into the veterinary office and and your veterinarian says we're healthy, we're healthy. Have them write on the medical notes healthy, no concerns, beautiful animal. And then with that, you can then go and get your pet insurance because then you have no pre-existing conditions. The important thing is you need to look at it and see if there are um, any any limitations to your pet insurance. So are there certain breeds that are not covered? Are there certain breed um, problems that aren't covered? Because certain breeds guys do have certain problems. And are there any, any, any limitations to it? Like I know some of them say if you get our health insurance for your pet, you cannot have an ACL fixed for six months. Like, look into it, and are there any things that they're not letting you do right away or ever? It's a good fit for you and your doggy. For those reasons, your kitty, go get it, you know, go get it. Other thing, guys, remember, you, you have your premiums and deductibles. Uh, premiums are things that you pay monthly to have your pet insurance. Deductibles, what you pay into. So then once you pay that down, then your pet insurance will pay for you. These uh, pet insurances are mostly about premiums, in my opinion, like you're paying your monthly premiums. And then um, a lot of the deductibles, they're really not too bad. No joke, they're, they're not too bad, guys. Uh, a lot of times people are spending maybe 500 on a deductible a year. Uh, so I mean small guy. That is nothing compared to human medicine. Nothing, that's so darn small. Look at your deductible, look at your premiums, compare the different pet insurances, and then do they have anything above that's preventing you from getting the complete care for your doggy or your kitty? Last but not least, some pet insurances are working into being able to help support you financially at the time of payment. Most, to my knowledge, most at this point do not do that. Literally, you walk in, your veterinarian says, oh my gosh, Bill, your dog Sophie, Fluffy, like Fluffy, your dog Fluffy, um, we think she tore her ACL, so I'm gonna do an x-ray and do some blood work and blah, 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 and you have to pay for all that up front. And then the veterinarian, me, writes the report and I say, yes, this dog was healthy, now it tore its ACL and we need insurance to pay for this and then you submit that and then your insurance pays you back. That's how most of them work right now. At some point that may change, but because these health, these insurance companies are dealing with corporate and private entities and a lot of them are businesses because veterinary clinics have to be, they have to be businesses because they have to pay their bills and they have to receive payment and they can't do things um, with the thought of being paid. So unfortunately, most of your veterinary clinics are gonna expect payment upfront. 
So you need to make sure that you you have some way of paying that if it's if it's a credit card or care credit or whatever, and then your insurance company can pay you back once you pay the initial upfront cost to get the care. So that's my soapbox, guys. I know it was kind of long today. I've just I've seen a lot of people really struggle recently, and I try, I try to help them out with anything I can with services that are reduced or or try to do my best to solve a problem for them. Pen insurance though would, would definitely solve a lot of problems for us. So I, I, would, I would really encourage you guys to look into it and see if it's a good option for you. And I'm not saying it's the best option for everybody. Some people, they can't do the premiums monthly. But if it's a good option for you and your pets, I'd really encourage you to look into it, think about it, and always talk to your veterinarian about it see what they think i know if someone when some people come to me about pet insurance i just look through the brochure i'm not sure if i'm not familiar with it and i can tell them pretty quickly if it's a good fit for them or not as always guys i hope you are happy and healthy i hope your kitties doggies all your four-legged and two-legged creatures that share your house with you are happy and healthy too